Hey you guys, Kira Doll here. I'm back with another video. Yesterday, I'm back with another video. As y'all guys can tell by today's title, today is day one of like my teacher's program. So I know the last I talked to y'all, I wasn't doing it. Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about it, so I just changed my mind and I'm doing it. <laughs> but uh, before we get into this video, I need y'all to smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button, turn the post notification bell on. That way, don't miss a video. Don't miss a video. Don't miss a video. Don't miss a video. Don't miss a video, don't miss a video, don't miss a video. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get right into this video. Right now, I am updating my computer because I haven't turned on my computer in forever. Like, I can't even remember the last time I turned my computer on. So, it's like my computer is, it's like, girl, we're not ready. So, I need to get this all ready go through my computer delete some stuff that's causing it to go slow and you know just make sure everything's good you know with my computer i'm really happy that my computer even came on like y'all don't even understand like i'm so happy that it even came on uh but i hope y'all have well i was gonna say like i hope y'all are having a good week um because as y'all saw my week started off rough but you know, I choose to not stay down. I choose to take the high road, you know, that kind of thing. I appreciate all my new sub supporters and I appreciate the supporters that I lost. Like, you know, I'm just thankful that God is continuing to like remove certain, you know, people out of my life. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just updating my computer. For some reason, it keeps disconnecting from the internet. I don't understand. Like, but yeah, so I'm just getting this going, and I want to knock out some courses. I started my program. I'll probably tell y'all more about the program and like all the specifics like later on. Like, this is day one for me, so I'm just now like getting into it. I applied. I think I applied. Was that last month? Yeah, I applied for the program last, not last month, last year, and I got accepted because I uploaded all my transcripts and everything, and I met all the requirements, so I got approved for the program, and I was just waiting to enroll, like, I was going back and forth, like, do I want to do this, do I not want to do this, I don't want to put all this energy into something that I'm not going to like, but it's like, excuse me, it's like, at my job now, if I'm going to be, you know, doing what I'm doing now, I might as well, you know, go all the way. Because what I'm doing at my job now, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. You know what I mean? You feel me? But how y'all been feeling, you know? How y'all been feeling? Saturday, like an update on the whole moving situation Saturday. I sh should be going ahead, you know, filling out the paperwork for this apartment um, you know, hand the fee, all that. I'll let y'all know how all that goes, but you know, I'm just, I don't want to speak too much on it until it's done. You know what I mean? But yeah, so my living situation, it's still the same as far as now goes, but I'm hoping that it changed. You know, I've had to do something. I think that day when y'all saw me like really, really just, you know, I guess upset, I was just overwhelmed, you know, you feel overwhelmed once you hold in a lot of shit and you just feel like life is you know punishing you and it's like or it just feel like unfair but don't sit around too long and don't be like why me why me i mean because everything happens for a reason if you're like if you weren't going through it somebody else will be going through it but clearly god feels god feels like you're fit for it he feels like you know you can overcome it like you're going to make it through. You know what I mean? I know y'all know what I mean. Because we be on the same page. We here. But yeah, this title of the video is just going to be along the lines of, you know, just an update. And just telling y'all, this is day one of my courses. So right now, day one, I'm just getting my computer all set up. And I have 207 courses. 207 courses to begin with. So... That's what I'll be doing. That's what will be consuming most of my time. So if I'm not on YouTube as much, this is what I'm doing. 
but I appreciate y'all for all the support. So many people, like, I, I just always get the confirmation as far as, like, you know, I should be doing teaching. You know, I enjoy I enjoy teaching. I enjoy, you know, working with children. I enjoy teaching them new things, talking to them, you know, learning from them as well. Like, and I don't know, I guess I'm just doing a really a damn good job <laughs> like let me stop downplaying myself i guess i'm just doing a damn damn good job because at my job like every day like i'm getting confirmation that i'm doing a great job like they're learning new stuff like it's summertime but i make sure they're learning something every day every week like i don't know i take pride in it um that's about the only thing i can aside from life you know having life I can really be excited about and proud of, you know, I'm, I am proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for graduating. I'm proud of myself for getting a degree, degree. I'm proud of myself for being on my own as much as, as long as I have been. I'm proud of my uh, relationship. I'm proud of me as a woman. I am proud. I'm proud of myself, but do I feel like there's room for growth? Of course. But yeah, y'all, if you made it this far in this video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn the post notification bell on. That way you don't miss a video, don't speed, don't miss a video, don't speed, don't miss a video, don't speed. Okay, okay, okay. Shop the latest trends and product drop at YouTube's Beauty Festival. I'm going to click on it. This site can't be reached. Great. I don't know. It's not showing any bars for the internet. See, it's like day one. This is literally like being in college all over again. Day one, you be having all type of technical difficulties and shit because you didn't check beforehand. But this was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. Like I got an email, like the place that I'm getting my stuff through. And I'm not gatekeeping y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all all the info, all the tea, but I want that to be in like a separate video. This is just kind of telling y'all what's going on, what's what I'm doing, what type of strides and shit I'm doing. I'm working. I'm working every day. I'm working my ass off. I'm not half-assing it. I'm leaving my emotions at the door. I'm doing what the fuck I gotta do so I can be in a better situation. Um, this apartment, <laughs> I honestly just been praying and hoping for the best and the best and just having like faith in God because the apartment that I've applied to, to be honest, to be honest, I was thinking about. I think I was thinking about maybe like four different apartments, and. All of them have been more than advertised. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, you start thinking, it's like, what can I afford? But then it's like, you have some non-negotiables. Like, you have some things where you just, you don't want to settle for it and you should not settle for it. Like, I'm not trying to live in no condo. You know, I just want a nice apartment starter apartment like a nice starter apartment with you know obviously stove you know just the basic appliances i would love to have a washer and dryer but how it's looking i don't think i'm gonna have a washer and dryer and that's cool that's cool because i don't plan on staying wherever i'm gonna be staying for forever like i think i'm gonna start off with maybe like a 10 month lease and just go from there just see how it is you know um, but yeah, you just want to be in a good, you know, good, decent, safe environment, basically. Because there's so much shit going on in the world, man. But yeah. So, uh, first it was like four apartments. Then it went down to one apartment. Then it went down to two apartments. Then it went down back to one apartment. Like, apartment searching is not easy. And especially when you're in a time crunch, especially when you wait it to last minute. But like I said before, I didn't have a chance. Like I've just literally, I wasn't in a position to save. And it's like, I ain't got time to be sitting around explaining that shit to people. Like sometimes you just don't have time. It's not, no, that's not what I meant to say. It's not that you don't have time. You just literally can't. Like some people act like, you know, like unfortunate shit doesn't happen. And that's why I don't really express uh everything that i'm thinking in every moment because it's like because it's like people make you feel like you're the only person going through that or you're the only person thinking that or you're the only person that has these shortcomings and i'm just sitting back like damn am i the only person going through this but in actuality you're not some people are just good at hiding it or they're just hiding it better than you are 
or whatever. So don't sit around comparing your life to other people's because what I'm learning day by day is that all this shit we've been seeing on social media, I would say 30% of it is real and the rest is the bullshit. <laughs> like, for real. Um, but yeah, like, I could be going through so much. I'm just, I'm going to continue to smile through the situation. Like, nothing and nobody and no situation, nothing is going to steal my joy. Like, I realize that, like, I'm a really um, joyous person. I want to share, like, I want to share my happiness with other people. Like, even though I'm not at my full, where I would like to be, like, where I'm just, you know, just on my shit, just got it all figured out. Even though I'm not at that point yet, I see the poten t potential in myself. As long as you see the potential in yourself, can't nobody tell you shit. Because you know where you're going, you know where you're heading, like, we need to stop procrastinating. And I've said we because I'm not going to lie. I procrastinate a lot. And procrastinating, like, time is time is just going to pass your ass by. But I thought about it today. I'm like, for my age, I'm not doing bad. Could I be doing better? Yes. And, you know, that's when you just come up with a game plan and you just try to execute it. But even though you have a plan, shit can go south. You can derail, like, shit happens, like, shit happens. Y'all, this computer don't want me to be great. It's day one. It don't want me to be great. I'm not tripping because I'm off on weekends, you know, and every weekend we pretty much been packing up and shit. This past weekend we didn't pack. We didn't pack. We should have, but we didn't, you know. We're both, you know, kind of dreading this move, but it just is what it is, and it just needs to happen, you know. I have my moments where I get sad and shit, but it is what it is. It's We're going to be better for it, and that's, that's how I'm just seeing it. We're going to be better for it, you know. Being strong all the time, the shit is hard. It's hard, and it's sad, but you have to. It's like, if you don't do it, who the fuck is going to do it? Like, nobody's going to just swoop you off your feet and save your ass it just is what it is so um you know the shit that i'm going through just take it as a lesson just take it as take it for what it is and what it ain't leave it alone just leave it alone but take from this video what you uh what resonated with you whatever didn't just leave it where it's at but um i wish y'all all the best like all the success like and i'm not bitter like when i see other people doing good or better than me like i'm clapping for y'all i'm real life clapping for y'all and i'm happy for y'all like especially my black people like it just it makes me happy to see black people especially black people my age like having money period having money and being able to do shit you know just off a of whim and you know, having the nice homes, the nice cars, being happy. But what really makes me happy is seeing my people of color, you know, focus on their mental health. Um, because a lot of us have, you know, past and childhood traumas we're trying to heal from and we're trying to navigate ourselves through this world. Like, this shit can be hard. Everybody wants to make it, like, look better than what it is. But the shit is hard. The shit is rough. Just know in real life, you got people out here homeless, being evicted, um, being diagnosed with cancer and all these other diseases. You know, you still got people getting COVID. You got people, you know, getting in really bad, you know, accidents. Like, so just be grateful. Be grateful through it all. Be grateful through your situation because your shit situation could always be worse. And don't compare your shit to other people. It gets hard, but rise above it. Just continue to rise above it. Um, I hope I motivated somebody or made somebody feel good. But that's my update. I'm not sitting in here, you know, fucking sad all the time or just sad 24-7. Because what's that going to do? It's not going to change my situation. Um, in my last video, it wasn't to make anybody you know, feel bad for me. It was just to tell my truth. Like, it is what it is. I'm not really gonna, like, hide shit from y'all no more. It just is what it is. Like, y'all know my mom's not in my life. Y'all know my dad's not in my life. Y'all know the shit that my grandma uh, put me through. It just is what it is. Am I mad at those people? I'm not. They did what they had to, had to do. And now I gotta do what I gotta do. And that's it. So, stay tuned for my next video. Like this video. Subscribe. And bye, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.